from YouTube go live. दीदी के खाली कर जाओ That is why I tell everyone to be on mute because. नहीं हो पाएगा. हाँ लास्ट टू पाइंट करने टाइम लेते हैं मुझे ना. ये ब्लेस. वो जाने लाइक वो. नोटबुक लेकुल नकड़ना वस्तु मैम ना नैट ले
Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone. It is a overwhelming response we are uh, seeing from uh, all the participants. They are uh, popping in quickly to join today's workshop. Uh, I know I am. We are aware that everybody everybody is on mute today because the topic which we are going to present on this workshop is very important. That is, it is on uh, language development. And so far we have received 200 participants uh, with us. Am I right? Yes, 200 participants are there. Today we have on board with us uh, the team of Alpha Sonics uh, from, uh, uh, it is Mr. Shekhar's team from Mumbai. And uh, this is the second consecutive year we are having this uh, annual phonics workshop uh, presented by in collaboration with Cambridge Montessori and uh, Alpha Sonics team. Uh, quickly giving the review that last year we had the first round of this workshop and it was uh, fabulously covered uh, where we have focused more on language development. Before that, I want to give a small uh, understanding on today's workshop that uh, uh, language development is something uh, which is very important part of the child development for the children. And it is actually a mode of communicating which is helpful to express and understand each other's feelings. It also gives opportunity to think and learn. It helps develop and maintain the relationships. Without communicating, we are we cannot uh, express ourselves. It is very important. And it happens since we are in the education field, we are dealing with the young children. So zero to six years, uh, normally we receive the children from one to six years in our schools. So this is the crucial time when the children are very sensitive to language. And uh, this is the time when they are adapting, learning new words and developing their vocabulary. In, the, in their first few years, the children uh, pick up a lot from the environment. And this is where we actually inculcate and focus on the uh, phonetic development, phonics uh, development in them, because of which we have, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, plan to give this workshop as a, as a new topic to all the teachers of our schools, Pan India. So, <laughs> So phonics is a way of teaching learning how to read and write. It helps children learn, identify, and use different sounds that distinguish one word from another in the English language. So today we, in collaboration with Alpha Sonics team, we are going to present some uh, valuable inputs. Some, uh, you know, it's it's a three days. Actually, it's a three days course also because who are who, those who are attending this workshop for the three consecutive days will be getting the certificate of completing this uh, workshop as well. So they can be uh, you know, well-versed with the phonetic uh, approach, how to uh, use and you know, the further understanding on phonics. So this, uh, I, would, I would say that you know, I will introduce the team of Alpha Sonics, uh, Mr. Shekhar Sharma. Shikha, are you there? Yes, hi, uh, Shikha. Thank you so much. And I hope everybody can see me. If you can see me, type yes in the chat box, everyone. If you can see me clearly, type yes in the chat box. Great. So, Payal, yeah, Mamta, everyone. Okay, they can see me clearly. Shikha, great. So, Cambridge Montessori again, once again, uh, introducing this and uh, introducing the team of Alpersonics and Mr. Shekhar. Some of them know him, Some for, for most of them, it, he's new, the team is new. So please, uh, Shekhar, I'm uh, you know, requesting you to take over from here. Sure, sure. Thank you so much. Thanks so much, Shekhar. 
and once again thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to you know go ahead and uh, do this workshop uh, you know year on year this is our second year we are pretty much excited and um, so how many people are excited today let's talk let's type excited e x i t e d okay so what we'll do is how many people are happy to be here today so type today everyone type today t o d a y excited okay super everyone got it today great this is amazing guys we have approximately around 400 registrations so we are very very happy and we are very very pumped in and uh, let me go ahead and take you through what you are going to learn in the next 3 days okay i'm the founder of this program and along with me our co-founder nidhi she is also there so she is also going to go ahead and uh, take her session but since uh, we have already you know started a bit late around 5 minutes late so let's directly dive into the workshop so everybody type dive in d i v e dive in come on everybody type dive into the workshop come on super super everyone is ready now this is amazing and guys in this whole workshop you just make sure that you are typing so that we know you are engaged you can listen to us clearly okay this is a workshop this is not a training this is going to be a workshop you are going to be continuously involved okay there is a difference in workshop and training so just make sure and in case if you get disconnected from zoom in case you are not able to log in you can always go to the youtube link that has been shared so you can see us on the youtube also live so just make sure that you go ahead and you log on to the youtube so that you don't miss anything in the training and also make sure if you subscribe our youtube channel we will make sure that you you are there and you are updated about all our programs so our instagram youtube everything is will be given to you later on so you make sure that you subscribe to those channels so that you can be updated about all our training programs so let us start today everybody everyone can see the presentation if you can see the presentation type yes in the chat box if you can see the presentation type yes in the chat box super 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 great 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 as i said you know people will be joining in during the presentation so we just need to make sure that everything is going smoothly all right great 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 all right so let's start as i as as shikha ma'am said building strong language foundation okay so alpha sonic is all about building strong language foundation in early years and as you know um, i want to welcome all the franchise owners i want to welcome all the all the coordinators of these centers i want to welcome all the teachers who have taken effort and we also have some parents of children who have joined us today so once again thank you so much for joining in today and let me make you uh, you let me just assure you that if you attend this workshop for all the 3 days your perception towards language and how to deliver that to children is going to change totally okay so that's how it is it's going to be so simple and easy and it's going to be fun based all right so let's dive into what are we and what do we do just give me one second so as as i uh, said that alpha sonic phonics we are a phonics company we only focus on language and we have programs for children we have programs for teachers so we have a dedicated teacher training course and we have programs for children also so this is how it is and this is the core team as i said you can see me shekhar over there and along with me nidhi she will be also joining us in the next part of the training so i've been a trainer all my life and this workshop that you are doing right now more than 8000 ladies have done this workshop already in the last 3 years so it's going to be amazing and you are going to have a lot of fun so you can see we go ahead and do workshops in schools we go ahead and do a uh, complete workshop for the full schools around india okay it it's all participation based but we do those workshops and we keep on traveling so this is one of the schools located outside mumbai this is in aurangabad and we keep traveling for the workshops all over india all right so let's just go ahead and understand why we are doing this workshop and why it is important to do this workshop now okay as shikha ma'am said that early years is very very important it's the maximum time that the child is going to take the language skill this is the best time to teach them language skills but on average on average in india only 30 to 40% of the children can read independently or speak english when they go out of senior kg only 30 only 20 to 30% let me be very specific this is a global average but i just want to tell you in india the number is also very bad 
So you make sure, you know, that this is the time and this is the time that you focus more on the language because if they know the language skills, if they have the language skill, other subjects are very, very easy for them. And so, you know, after the Cambridge Montessori, when they go to a bigger school, you know, they are in primary section, they are, they are not having the same setup that you, they have in the preschool, the teacher is different, the friends are not there. So it's very, very important that they acquire these skills when they go out of your preschool. So that's why we are doing this training. Let's go to the next one. I want to take you through how this whole training has been organized. In this, in this uh, slide, you can see how there is a pre-K model and then there is a K1 model and then there is a K2 model, which is our nursery play group, junior KG and senior KG. So this is how this is. So one, two, three. So in the next three days, we are going to cover one, two and three. So is, is everyone understanding how this training is going to be? If you have understood everything, type yes in the chat box. If you have understood how this training is going to go, so type yes in the chat box. The next three days, you are going to learn about how phonics is gradually going ahead age-wise. All right, great, super. So everyone is with me and thank you so much. So people are still joining in, which is amazing. Okay, so let's go to the next slide. First, let's understand what is our portfolio? What, what does Alphasonic do and how do we collaborate with schools? So we do teacher training program, as I said, and I have shown you some of the photographs. We do summer camps and activity phonics camps for schools and preschools. Okay, we are also activity partners for a lot of daycare centers. Okay, we are activity partners for a lot of daycare centers and even Abacus centers, we are activity partner for them, for phonics. So it's like that. That's how we collaborate and give language skills to all over India children. Okay, and we are language partners for schools, preschools. We also go ahead and do our workshops in NGOs, in vernacular medium schools. So this is how a language program, this is how we partner with so many schools and we have trained more than seven to 8,000 children in the last four years. Okay, so this is how Alpha Sonic has made sure that we reach to children and especially during COVID when they have lost two years of their school. They have huge issues with language. If I speak to senior KG coordinators and teachers, they will tell me that how the children are struggling with the language skill. So that's how this workshop is very, very important for all of you to attend for the all three days. Let us understand more about the program. These are some of the brand partners that we work with. You can see here Cambridge Montessori is one of the brand. Okay, then we do with a lot of, uh, you know, Rotary. As I said, we work with a lot of NGOs. So we Rotary is one of our biggest clients that we work with. Then there is Little Scholar, Happy Minds. These are some of the top 10 schools which are in Mumbai, top 10 preschools and daycare centers which are based in Mumbai. So we work with them. We have collaborated with them to give language skills in their schools. It's very, very important for us. All right. So what are you going to learn? Now, Alpha Sonic Phonics is already 21 century skill based. So if you see in the 21 century skills, I don't know how many people have been trained on that. But if you see the first four, which is critical thinking, creativity, collaboration and communication, these four are the most important. It's the foundation level of the 21 century skills. So Alpha Sonic program is designed taking, keeping these things in mind. So we are already 21st century compliant. Our program is already 21st century compliant. And as I said, the four C's, it's called the four C's, which is critical thinking, creativity, collaboration, and communication. When the children are doing learning phonics with the Alpha Sonic methodology, they are doing all these four things simultaneously in the pre-primary age, in, in, the, in the Montessori age, they are doing this with us, with, with our program. That's why I say that our program is 21 century skill compliant. Next, let's understand why Alphasonic, why it is so important. Okay, so we were very, very clear, you know. So if I go ahead and type something in Sanskrit, people will not understand that because they don't understand the language. They don't understand the symbols. For me, it will be just like a symbol, like how people, you know, make tattoos on their body in Sanskrit and all. Same thing happens with the children also. They, they feel it is only symbols, but with the Alpha Sonic program, with the language programs that we give to them, they understand that how to read these symbols, how to read these letters and form words, and how to become an independent reader. So we always wanted to promote English in the Indian way. Remember? the global programs which are available okay globally 
they are designed for their countries. We don't have a program for our country. So we have designed the program for our country because we have various types of English. We have a Punjabi English. We have a Gujarati English. We have a Marathi English. We have an English in South, okay, which is totally different. Yem Yen dominance is there in Maharashtra. E is there. Punjabi, everything is ING. Bengali, they don't say W. So our way of speaking English is totally different. So that is why we wanted to make a program which caters to our population, our diversity. And that is how we have made this program. And the most important thing is we wanted a program which is very simple to learn and simple to teach to my children. Okay. So if I make a difficult program, which my teachers are not able to teach, what is the point of this program? That's how it is. We were very, very clear about that. So everybody type simple in the chat box. If you have understood the concept of Alphasonic, everybody type simple in the chat box. Super, great, great, great. Everybody understands. Simple city is our mantra. That's what I say to everyone when I'm talking about Alphasonic. Let's also understand why Alphasonic. As I said, first mantra is simplicity. Second is proprietary methodology for our own children. Okay, and it is called an activity-based learning. When you will be when uh, you know our teachers are going to teach you, she will teach you the importance of doing that activity with the child, importance of doing that particular thing in the particular way. It's very, very important. So delivery is what we always wanted. And as I said, everyone is going to get trained, trained teachers. Everyone who is teaching Alpha Sonic are trained by our brand. In India, if you find anyone who is teaching Alpha Sonic Phonics, she's been trained and certified by us. It's a very, very important thing. You know, there are other programs who people start at their home with their with no branding and then they teach anything that they comes to the mind or YouTube or any other Google search or something like that. But all the teachers in Alpha Sonic are trained and certified by us. So there is a body, there is a common body which certifies everyone who is teaching the Alpha Sonic methodology. It's a very, very important thing. So that's how we are very, very different. Now let's go to our publication. This is how you are going to learn. So we have these alpha sonic kits. You will learn more about this on the third day. Okay, about each and every. So every single day. So day one, day two, day three, you are going to focus on each and every kit. And as per their age, the whole program is age wise. The whole program is age wise. So let me just take you what is there in the program. So today you will be learning about pre-K. So I want everyone to type pre-K in the chat box. Pre-K. Today, everyone is going to learn about pre-K. So pre-K, we call it uh, pre-K because it is it combines of both. It can combine of play school. It can combine of nursery. As soon as the child is able to speak words, you have to go ahead and start giving them language skills. It is as simple as that. So I always say the pre-K is the most important and the crucial age in building the strong foundation of the children. Super, super great. So what we need to do here is uh, one second, just people are just entering the, uh, you know, program again and again. All right, great. So what are you going to learn in pre-K today? As I said, this is designed for children right from 18 months to up to four years. This set has a set of flashcards. You'll be learning how to do them. Then there are 10 picture books, you know, to build comprehension skills in the children. Just by doing this box, the child has more than 400 vocabulary words in their dictionary. So we learn language based on the words we know. How many words we know? How many words can I speak? So when the, once the child does this box, they learn more than 400 vocabulary words, which gives them automatically confidence to face the world, to talk to people, to interact. It's a very, very easy. And as I said, you just have to do this 15 to 20 minutes a day. Okay, it's not rocket science, 15 to 20 minutes a day. You can include it in the curriculum, zero period. And it's it's an amazing box. So this is the pre-K box, as I said. And you can see these are small, small uh, children in a vernacular medium school where English was never taught till the age of seven years. So second standard, third standard, this school was teaching them English. We started English in their nursery and junior KG classes. You can see the children, cute children are taking our kids. And the next day, tomorrow, you're going to learn about the purple kit. It's a very, very important age to build a reading foundation, all about CVCs, all about two-letter words, three-letter words, vowel sounds. You're going to learn this. So tomorrow is also going to be very, very important. Just by doing this module, this kit, you learn more than 600 words. So 400 before 600 now, so approximately 1,000 words 
you will be learning the child learns when they do this two kits with us so it's a very very as i said an important day tomorrow and you can see how purple kit the children are elder they are junior kg children this is one of the daycare centers that we have collaborated with and it's it's working wonderful with them and this is the blue kit it's a very very important age it's a senior kg kit and also the advanced level of phonics this you are going to learn on wednesday the third day very very important as i said everything about long e long o diphthongs digraphs will be taught to you the concepts will be given to you in this training and more than 1000 vocabulary words more than 1000 vocabulary words you know a child learns once they do this program so 1000 in the previous two boxes 1000 with this again it's an amazing thing it's a very very important age for the child because after this is going to go in grade 1 so we need to make sure that he learns the concepts and he is very very thorough with them it's a very very important age the senior kg age and it's the blue box and if you see this the these children are elder they are going to graduate you know very soon but you know we we really love to spend time with them so see this is how it is and people uh, you know start uh, going ahead and doing things in the live stream just give me a sec and i will just go ahead and remove this annotations okay great and as i said we have a teacher training program okay we have a teacher training program that we have uh, which uh, you know uh, we run for teachers who are interested in doing our advanced level getting certified with them so you know if you are keen on that nidhi nidhi teacher is going to talk about that and uh, we'll be very very happy to tell you more information okay once the program is done nidhi will give you this information on the third day so with this what i am going to do is i want you guys to go ahead and subscribe to our youtube channel which the link is already given to you then you can also go to our instagram and our facebook page just type alpha sonic phonics you can subscribe these channels and once you have done that you know you will be able to learn more about phonics so everybody type ready and let's call nidhi uh, you know on the screen today and what i'm also going to do is i'm going to paste this information on whatsapp to you we will give you this information so everybody is pretty excited for nidhi and let me just get her on uh, board right now just give me a sec so nidhi yeah. are you set just let me yeah, add you yeah. so nidhi is already here hi nidhi hi hi shikha hi shikha thank you so you know uh, first i would like to thank shikha for giving an insight uh, what we will be covering in next 3 days so now you are going to be with us next 3 days so type 3 One, two, and three in the chat box. One, two, three. So before even I start something about myself and the program, first let me congratulate Shikha Ma'am for being a visionary. Who is a visionary? Visionary is a person who understands that this is the problem. So language development has been a biggest problem. So I would like to second. Uh, Shikha ma'am on this, and I should also thank to the management for, you know, giving us an opportunity one more time. And with my team, Arlene, she's a very dedicated, very promising, and very talented teacher who will be taking us through for the next three days. She's a mother, but she has worked very hard. She's a certified trainer for last two years. So, with this thought that language is a big problem. punjabi english marathi english bengali english now why you should do our trainings that is where i would be introducing myself just give me a minute i will share my screen and i will be just uh, one minute can you see my screen or i just need to do it again uh, let me first stop and then. Just kidding. Can you see my screen? It is hang, I think. Can you hear me? Uh, screen is not visible. Okay, just give me a minute. I think uh, my screen got hanged. Just give me a minute.
Sorry, I don't know what has happened. Maybe my screen got hanged. Nidhi, can you just start your camera again? Just switch it off and switch it on and also stop sharing. I think uh, we have lost your video also. Are you using my screen? No, Nidhi, I, I think uh, we have lost your video also. Can you just uh, start and stop your uh, camera also once again? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, correct. Now we, have, we can see you. I think the system is not working for this screen. You can just start uh, without it, I think. So. You are on mute, Nidhi, you are on mute. Yeah. Let me try to uh, share the. Correct, correct. Just give me. Now I would just like to share. Can you see my screen now? My no, it's not, it's not visible, Nidhi. Now I think it will be visible. Can you see my screen now? Can you see my screen now, Shekhar? No, no, Nidhi, we can't see your screen. So what I'll do is I'll just introduce without. Uh, you know. Correct, correct. Just stop the screen share so that we can see your video, Nidhi. Yeah. I'm putting you on. So I will just do that here. I'll put you on. Yeah, perfect. This is this is great. We can see you full screen. Your audio is also clear, Nidhi. So what I'll do is I will just. Uh... So now before uh, you know, since we have lost uh, some of the time, I would just like to. You know, into my voice is clear. Please type yes in the chat box. Can you can you hear me clearly? Please type yes in the chat box. Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yes, yes, you are clear. Yeah. So you know, without taking much time because there was some connectivity issues. So what Shekhar has taken you through now, I will. Just like you to take you through my experience. So myself, founder of uh, Phonics program. I am also a childhood educator from London. I've done my advanced diploma into early years. Now, why Alpha Sonic came into inception? As a mother of two bright children, when I was going to school frequently, I understood that there is a gap in the language. Like Shikha ma'am and Shekhar, they have given the wider perspective of language. As a mother, I used to go to their school and I used to understand that, you know, children are not able to read and write. Then I have worked globally out of India with Saudi Arabia, Qatar, all international big schools. So I was on this side as a teacher and now I have a company where I wanted this program to be navigated to various people out. So Shekhar has helped me with a small introduction. So what I will just do is that I have been very passionate about giving back to society. So since I've worked with schools, I can understand Shikha ma'am has connected various teachers, you know, center managers, coordinators to understand how this phonics works. So phonics has five pillars. With this kind of introduction, you can trust us for the next three days. That is why I wanted to show you my presentation that, you know, with various accolades, achievements, recognition, past two decades in this industry, me and Shekhar have made a beautiful program, Phonics and Reading. Now, why reading books? Because children at the end of the day, they have to read a book. Am I right? Agree? You can just put thumbs up if you agree with me. 
हर बच्चे को बुक पढ़नी है टेन दिल्ली इफ यू एग्री विद मी प्लीज टाइप ये इन द चैट बॉक्स सो दैट आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड यू ऑल आर विद मी टाइप ये इन द चैट बॉक्स प्लीज आई कांट सी कैन यू ऑल हियर मी शेखर एम आई ऑर्डर yes nidhi operating here so so multiple things were you know while i was researching i was a teacher then i became the principal of chains of preschool today i have come up with a solution where if you use our pedagogy if you use our books if you use our methodology for the three levels together the child starts reading independently so i would like this next three days to be very very productive and now to know how our boxes have been designed type five in the chat box which are the five pillars of reading please type five in the chat box so that you understand why you need flash cards why you need books why you need craft activities why teacher needs to know sounds so everything you will understand when you know that five pillars first is sound so a a b b c c our trainer arlene will be taking us through the entire journey so first pillar is sounds if you can type in the chat box or you can write down your notes sounds a a b b c c d d second is phonics which is the methodology thank you shekhar for this help and support always so these are the five pillars on which our kids have been designed the tool boxes very very helpful to the managers teachers school owners because the people trust you ali will be taking uh, you know step by step what is in the box third thing comes fluency Now, when will the fluency comes? Anybody? When we practice. So, for practicing, you need mentors like us. You need a structured pedagogy, as Shekhar has explained. There are hundreds of worksheets in the market, YouTube. But why child doesn't read? Because you need to have a proven methodology, which is twenty first base century. so first was sounds second is the methodology third comes the vocab words so from where you will get the words from the books how you read how you modulate so early you will be showing them how to use picture books book reading is a practice it comes over a period of time last fifth type five in the chat box the very important pillar is comprehension decode the text when you would like to decode the text when you don't understand anything am i right so fifth pillar is used by our small picture books the story books today she will be reciting meena and a birthday party and if you want a personalized attention we have our workshops our advanced courses you can always get in touch with shikana or myself or shekhar so let's get into the mode of today's workshop let's welcome arlene thank you shekhar for your help and thank you shikama once again and to the management and let's clap for management and shikama all our audiences if we can have a quick picture uh, you know if we can have some session together arlene welcome thank you ma'am Yeah, good so afternoon to all the yeah, head yeah, and yeah. teachers here firstly thank you to shikha ma'am for giving us all this opportunity for the consecutive second year for training the teachers now quickly sir and ma'am have explained the 21st century skills they have explained how this program has been made simple there are in the market online there are hundreds and hundreds of programs that you will come through on instagram facebook snapchats but 
our program is different for many ways. Firstly, it trains the teachers. It trains the teachers in a way which is very simple. It is easy. It is decodable. And it is useful. It helps our mothers. It helps ladies, homemakers to invest just a little time, get to learn something and even earn sitting at home, training their own children and training so many other children all around. During COVID, we as, we as parents were all confused because our children did not know most of us. I personally have done homeschooling to my daughter. Alpha Sonic is at that is at that time when I found Alpha Sonic. I've done training courses with them. I have attended their workshops. I did the teacher training course. And then I have also involved my daughter in various courses. And then I have started teaching and training children and teachers here. Quickly, now I'm going to run through the sounds. Ma'am has explained the five most important pillars. Let us do the first pillar today, which is the sounds. Children learn letters A to Z. But that letter has to be taught with a sound. The sounds that we learn help you to remember the letter, help you to blend the words, which we will do tomorrow. For today, we will be doing A to Z letters with their sounds. Teachers, I want all of you to be very, very attentive. One, I'm going to play a short game. Two, there will be a home task which will be assigned to you on all the three days. For today, your home task is going to be from the phonics sounds that we are just going to begin. I hope we all are ready. I want to see everybody's thumbs up. I want you all to send me a thumbs up in the chat box. Super. Okay. Here we begin with our first letter. Now, in the red kit, we always do the capital letters because it is the age group catering two to four years. So we are going to use only capital letters to train them with the letters and the sounds. A. A. Alligator. A, A. Alligator. All of you, please remain muted. Do these sounds and the actions along with me. A, A. Alligator. B, B. Blow. Let's blow. Let us all blow together. Please unmute everybody. Please unmute. Let's take a picture blowing together. B, B, blow. C, C, cat. Let's be little catties. C, C, cat. K, K, cat. D, D, down. D, D, down. E, this is a letter. We have to listen to the sound very, very carefully. E says, eh. A and H, a sound together. Ah, 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 ears. Ah, ah, ears. F. It does not say f. It does not say f. 
there are many channels on youtube which is which take us through f with the sound as f it's completely wrong the sound for the alphabet f is we press our upper teeth to our lip lower lip and get a sound let's try this teachers fish fish g says g g g goggles g g goggles h says h h says h h h hug h h hug quickly let us go through all the sounds now a says a a a alligator b says b b b blow let's fill all the air in our tummy and let's blow it out c says k k k cat d says d d d down e says a a a ears a a ears f says f is this correct no the correct sound for f is fish g says g g g goggles h says h h h hug h h hug i says e we feel cold right igloo now i'm sure we have understood the sounds for letters a to h please send me a thumbs up in the chat box okay let's get further on now i says e igloo i says e igloo i'm feeling cold j says j j j juice j j juice k says k let's kiss k k kiss k k kiss l says l wrong again l says l tongue touching the upper jaw l l says l love everybody let's click a picture love let's do this again l says do it loudly please unmute everybody please unmute yourselves let's do this together l says love 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 roll your tongue L 
Love. 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 Lots of love. Because children cannot roll. Love. Aapki tongue ko andar leke jai. Love. Yeah, Ali, do you have a job? M says M. Right? Wrong. M does not say M. Again, when we go on YouTube and the channels, M says M. But that's wrong. We are teaching our children wrong phonics. M says mm, mm -hmm. pressing our lips mm -hmm. inside. Mm, max. Come on, let's quickly. Mix. Yeah, let's let's switch on our cameras and we all do it together. Let's mix. Can we do it together, everybody? Please switch on your cameras. Mm. I also want to so you're mix. not sleeping. Well, let's do it together. Mm. Mix, 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 mix. Mix it like a mix. You see why we are using our hands? Why children? Because they don't like your classroom. You have to keep moving. They cannot sit in one place. So do it. Mix. 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 Mix it. Mix it like a milkshake. You have to be peppy when you do your classes. They will not listen to you. Um, 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 um. No. It has to be a peppy classroom environment. Today children are Facebook and microphone, smartphone generation. Am I right? And you are studying M for Moon, M for Mama. M for Mark Padegi, Vesa Nahi Hotai classes. Classes have to be very, very interesting. So, what Arlene is trying to tell you is use some hand movements for the sounds. You remember? The first pillar was what? Please type in the chat box sounds, phonemic awareness, awaz, awaz te milke shabd. How the sounds will work together. Then they will make words. Words will make sentences. And in COVID, children have stopped talking. How many of you agree? Kitne bachcho ne baat karna band kar diya? Can you can you can give me thumbs up? Hundreds of children have lost their vocal. That's why I wanted to thank management of Montessori, Chika Ma'am, and the entire. You should be very grateful for your management to arrange. This is the gap which you are going to fill up as teachers, right? So, you know, I just wanted to uh, break that ice. I just jumped into the training, right? right. Yes, we are are saying, what ma'am said is correct. In our classes, with these actions, we are using a multi-sensory approach to teach exactly. our children. We are not making them sit on a table. As teachers, we are not standing. We are rather coming at their level and interacting with them. We are using their way of learning, the way children like it. So let's go further on. N says, mm, pressing our teeth together and pushing the tongue. Mm, nose. Mm, Nose. N does not say N. It's wrong. N says N. Mm, nose. Let's come to my favorite. O. O says O. Oh, onion. O. Oh, o. Oh, onion. We cry, right? When mama cuts the onion. We cry when mama cuts the onion. Why? Because there's so much of water, right? O says, oh, onion. P says, P, paint. P says, P, 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 paint. Q says qu, k and w, qu, quiet, 
Don't we do this in our classes? Please be quiet. Please be quiet. So every moment a child starts something, the first action a teacher does is shh, quiet, right? Qu qu quiet. R says R. Again, it's not R. It is R. R says R. Ring. S says stars. S says stars. T says t. 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 Tongue. Let's try to touch our tongue to our nose. Let's try that, everybody. Can we try? T says t. T, t, tongue. U says a. A, a, umbrella. A, a, umbrella. V says V. I'll do V and W together to make you understand this better. V says V. When we use this action and we say a simple V. But when we do W, we say V. We are putting a pressure. We are saying V. And we do the action waves. V says V. Norlin, uh, sorry to interrupt you. I want all ladies to take up their left hand and we'll all paint. Come on, take your left hand up. Wave. Put your hand up in the air. So which letter we are doing? Paint, right? No, we are doing V and W now. So W also, all we want to do is wave, wave, wave your hand and wave wave your whole hand till end. Let's do it from the what what wave. You keep using your hand, body movements. Only then children will enjoy your sounds. So what wave and bite your lips for vegetables. See what bite your lips. B, B, vegetable. B, B, van. Some you join your lips. Some you open your mouth wide. And that's how the whole sound system is works. Ab kai bachi to ghar mein kis pe baithe rehte hain? So unka sound system to jam ho gaya, right? So these phonics, sounds and all these things will help you to deliver and give you 100%, especially for speech delay, slow learners, where Malayali, Marathi, Hindi, Punjabi, Telugu is spoken at home. A lot of language barriers. So we are bridging the gap. Yeah. So W, you have done, right? So X, we yes, do Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ali, you also be there. Let's do X. We'll do in a very desi style. X. Yes. X in a very desi style. X-ray, let's take a picture. Let's click a picture. And now we'll sing a song, teachers. Kitch meri photo, tu kitch meri photo. How do you do? Make it interesting. Come on. Kitch meri photo. Come on. Kitch. Yes, how are you doing a photo? Come on, do it one more time. Your sound is also. Photo. Kaise bachu ko maza kaise aayega? Can we have a video on this, Shikhar? Ali, can we together make sound? How do you click a picture? Like that. The sound. Go and Each photo like this. Yeah. 
Y says y yawning. We feel tired. We start yawning. So y says why? But most of the time we are yawning in the class. And Z says it's a sound again. It's not Z. It's Z zip. zip. Let's zip a zipper. Z zip. zip. Teachers, I hope we have understood the sounds. I'm going to take you quickly again from A to Z sounds with their actions. But do it fast and then we will tell the flashcard. Yes, ma'am. So mm -hmm. A says A. Alligator. B says B. Blow. C says K. Cat. D says D. Down. E says E. Eh. Ears. F says fish. G says g. Goggles. H says h. Hug. Let's give a tight hug to ourselves. I love myself. I says E igloo. J says J juice. K says K kiss. L says L love. M says mm, mix. N says N nose. O says O. Onion. P says P. Paint. Q says Qu. Quiet. R says rain s says stars t says t dung u says up umbrella v says v vegetables V van W says V waves as in V V waves X says X let's do this again X says X it's a sound Y says Y yawn Z says Z zip, Z zipper. I hope teachers, we are clear with all the sounds and the actions. Please send me a thumbs up again in the chat box. Okay, now teachers, let's play a small game. We'll play the game with A, and B, letter A and letter B. If I say words that begin with letter A, you always clap your hands. If I say a word with letter A, you will all clap your hands. If I say a word with letter B, you will all stand up, right? If I say a word with letter A, you will all clap your hands. If I say a word with letter B, you will all stand up. Are we all ready? 
So we'll take a short video with this. Here we go. Now, apple, alligator, aeroplane, butterfly, balloon, alligator, ant, bat, ball. Right. This is how teachers, we keep our children engaged in the classes. When we are doing, we have to use multi-sensory approach to teach the children where their senses are being used. The five most important senses. Secondly, to keep them in involved, we have to make our sessions interactive, right? Where we involve games. This way, let me now take you through our kit. The first kit, the pre-K phonics kit which caters to two to four years of age. Now, let's unbox this kit to see what all surprises are there and how the child learns 400 plus words. So let's knock, 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 knock. What's in the all have to sing, box. yeah. I mean, I want them to sing. Please unmute yourselves, teachers. What is, in, what the is box? in the box? What is in the box? Let's check. Knock, knock. Knock, knock. What is in the, what box? Is in the box? Firstly, we have our letter. Now, this letter is to all the teachers, to all the parents who take this box for their children. It tells them how all the books will help in their children, to their children. Secondly, it also gives us the links for our Instagram and Facebook pages. Secondly, we have our reader book. So, our reader book takes us through all the letters A to Z. Firstly, it helps the child to know how to trace and form the letter from up to bottom left side make a slanting line and top to bottom right side make a slanting line and a sleeping line after which the child learns different images and objects that come from letter a as in a, a, apple and a, a astronaut, a, a alligator, a, a apple, a, a ant, a, a astronaut, a, a alligator. After this book, the next book that we have is a workbook. As the name suggests, we are going to be working in this book. We will be working at home and in the class. So when the children come to the classes, we usually do the workbooks with them and we revise with the reader book and we give our reader books for homework as well. Now, First, we have the index page, which ma'am and sir took you through. The levels that we have, the first level that we are doing now, the pre-K level. And here comes our letter A. Now, to make it more interesting, we use art and craft. So each letter, there is a instruction provided up what we have to do. So we have to make it interactive for them. Now, tear a red color crepe paper and paste it on letter A to make a apple. A, a, apple. 
let's do with that action tear 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 the paper tear 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 the paper put some fevicol and paste it while the children are doing this interactive learning they are also learning the vocabulary the teacher says it along so a a ax a a astronaut alphabet to make the learning more strong we have the representation of the capital as well as the lower case letter a and to color this a, a apple so again this helps to make your learning more stronger and for better retention after this the most important every kid has books now this is the set of 10 books that we have in our red kit children are not able to read but yes as teachers as parents we take them in this imaginative world by telling them stories sir and ma'am have already explained we do not need to sit for the entire day but just 15 to 20 minutes is what we need to give them for developing their language so let me now take you through two books and how we can introduce the stories and how we can keep them engaged how by listening they can start catching up words and start getting interested in reading so our first story is a house for a mouse a squeaky squeaky mouse can we all see a mouse what is it doing it is trying to search a house okay where do we all live everybody do we all have a house to live in yes same way this little mouse is searching for a house ah look at this dog what time of the day do you think is this is it morning evening or night time it's the night time that means we all sleep at night time right but this mouse does not have a house and so it moves out in the night so that it can find one house no very very far away it sees a very beautiful house with a door This mouse is now waiting to enter this house. It says, "I'm sure I am going to get a place to rest and sleep here." Now, can we guess this animal? I want you to write it in the chat box, teachers. Can we try to guess this animal? right a dog do we know the sound of the dog bow 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 right now this mouse goes to the dog and this puppy says you can come and sleep with me in good see the mouse says thank you now what happens When this mouse is sleeping by the side of this puppy, this mouse does not get good dreams. It gets bouncy and muddy dreams. 
it is not happy when it gets up in the morning. The next morning, it meets a parrot. Same, the parrot says, you can come and sleep with me. Mouse says, thank you. But that night again, this mouse does not get good sleep. Its sleep is disturbed. It gets noisy dreams. When we sleep at night, do we get dreams, everybody? Sometimes we get scary dreams. And sometimes in the dream, we are smiling and laughing, right? So, the smiling dreams are better, right? We all want to be happy, happy. Now, this mouse is not happy. It's very, very sad. This mouse says, I want a place which is very, very dry and comfortable for me. Now, it finds a bookshelf. And it goes and rests there at night. And guess what? The mouse is very happy because the mouse gets warm and cozy dreams that night. And so the mouse decides to stay in that bookshelf. Now, at the end, teachers, we have some important, you know, some pictures like this, which the children can color. Now, I have done one picture book, but I want to know with you all teachers, why is comprehension important? We are reading a story. Will that create interest in the children? So what are the different ways and methods that we can use to make it more interesting for the children? I'm sure if I would read the story this way. Mouse was looking for a house. Can you see this house, children? Okay. This looks like a nice house. You can come and sleep with me, said the puppy. Thank you, said the mouse. Is this way interesting or the way that I used earlier? The earlier way, right. So I want to know from you all, please type in the chat box, which are the different ways and why is comprehension important? What happens when we are reading a story or when we are using our facial expressions and when we are narrating a story to them? What are the important things that happen to children at that time? You all can even unmute yourselves to speak. Don't we feel interested? We feel interested, right? In learning something. We feel interested in learning. We hear something, then we remember it better. Right, teachers? We learn new vocabulary words. It creates an interest in listening and reading. Now, let's go to the next story, which is Meena and her birthday party. Now, what all do we do on our birthdays? We cut a cake, right? We call our friends, we call our family members and we celebrate our birthdays with them, right? But today we have one friend and her name is Meena. Now, let's see why Meena feels sad and how she wants to celebrate her birthday. So tomorrow is Meena's birthday and Meena is going to celebrate her birthday in her garden. What do we do when we celebrate a birthday? We call our friends. 
we call our family members, right? We cut a cake. What all do we do? What all do we do? What are the other preparations that we do when we are celebrating a birthday? What are the other preparations that we do, teachers? Please write it in the chat box. We decorate the place that we are going to be doing it, right? We invite our friends. We book a cake. Yes, we arrange gifts. Correct. What else? We play games, right? We buy new clothes, right? We buy new clothes. So here... We order the cake. Yes, we have decorations, parties, songs. Correct. This way, Meena, thank you, thank you, teachers. Correct. This way, Meena goes for her dress shopping with her mother. Now, when she goes to the shop, her mother shows her a pink colored dress. But Meena frowns. She says, Mama, I do not like this dress. Meena feels sad. Meena folds her arms. I don't want this dress, Mama. Then Meena says, show me a green color dress. I want a green color dress, Mama. When the shopkeeper shows her a green color dress, then she feels very sad and unhappy. I don't like this dress. I don't want a green colored dress. Mama says, you don't want a pink colored dress. You don't want a green colored dress. What color do you want? What should I buy you? Now, mother shows her a, which is this color? Yellow. Mama shows her a yellow color dress. What about this dress, Meena? Do you like this dress? Yay! Meena is very happy. Why? Because she loves yellow color and she wants to buy this yellow color dress. And look at this. Meena is happy in wearing her new yellow color dress. She calls her friend. They come with gifts. The table is decorated. There are balloons everywhere. And Meena celebrates her birthday happily. So teachers, we saw, if I just read a story, it will rather make it boring. Children will never, never, never learn to read, even never want to listen to a story. If the child, the two to four year age old child, never hears a story, how will the child develop interest in reading the stories? Reading would happen only when they learn the letters, they learn the sounds, right? So it is very, very important to have very good skills in learning. And this is how our program helps in training teachers to read or to showcase and to present to the children. So we play games, we ask questions, we have educational games. You know, we use all different kinds of books, our 10 set of books for reading. We use our reader book. We use our workbook and most important, we use a fun method, a playway method to learn phonics. Teachers, I am going to write your home task for today in the chat box, which is going to be letters, sounds.
alphabets a to z a to, a to h Teachers, have you all received the message alphabets A to H with sounds and actions? Please send me a thumbs up if you have all received this homework. Now, I'm going to send you the number. You will save this number. I'm sending you the number. You will save this number on your phone and send the home task here. I'm going to explain it how. 9167490009. Teachers, have you all received the number? Okay, now you will make a short video. I'm going to show you how that would be done now. You all are going to take your phone. You all will take your phone, save the number. Secondly, on your camera, go to the video section. Keep it before you. Keep it before you and Say the letter A. A says A. A, A, alligator. B says B. B, B, blow. C says K. K, K, cat. D says D. D, D, down. E says A. A, A, ears. F says fish. G says G. G, G, goggles. H says H. H, H, hug. H, H, hug. Thank you. After you click this video, you save it and you send it to us on WhatsApp. The link, the number has been shared to you. 9167490009. I'm sure you all have understood the home task. Make a short video of the letters with their sounds and actions of from letter A to H. And please send it to us by today evening positively because we understand that you have understood this concept. Tomorrow we will go on to blending the two letter and three letter words to the next level, the purple kit, catering to the age group four to five. For that, this task, today's lessons have to be understood very very comfortably and easily only then it will be possible for us to move on to tomorrow's class teachers any doubts any doubts that a and e c and k all of this would be explained to you in the next sessions that would be done, the workshops and the other trainings that would be done. These are all higher level. For now, we have to focus on making it easy and simple for the children. Because in class, we are not going to be doing the C and K sound, the difference. You know, we have to just make it simple for them because they are really very small children. This is for us as teachers to know. All of these trainings would be done in the teacher training programs. Nidhi ma'am and sir would be giving you a better knowledge on this uh, tomorrow and day after tomorrow, ma'am.
Shekhar, sir? Yes, sir, Lim. We are done for the day, right? Yeah, we're done for the day, sir. So let's See sing a bye-bye bye song. Let's bye take bye, a, take care. Let's sing the bye-bye song together. Let's take a, a short video. By doing this, I want everybody to unmute themselves and to please keep their cameras on. Let's sing this bye-bye song together with your hands together. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye, everyone. See you all tomorrow. See you all tomorrow. Glad you came to class today. Glad you came to class today. Lots of love. Lots of k k kisses. Goodbye, everybody. Meet you all tomorrow at 2 for the next training, next level purple kid, 4 to 5 years of age. Bye-bye.